Hello. Welcome, gamers. It seems for some reason there was a Steam VR update, and I'm no longer able to see my desktop in this menu. So I have to do some weird thing to look at my menus. Um, I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> it's kind of weird. At, uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Got layout mode. Do this thing. We have the settings. Okay, we got the chat right there. Zoom it. And then I might have to add like like a second window so that rather than going to this sub menu, I have to have a floating screen that's present at all times. Now if I can figure out how to do that, that will be good. Let's see. Um <laughs> Red View. Create overlay. Okay, here we go. This will be a window that has everything. Now, could I configure it so that it only shows up when I look at it? If I go to settings, tracking space, auto hide. Okay, so like when I'm not looking at it, is it gone? What if I put it like here? Right, if, I, if I'm here, not looking at it. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Anyway. Um, wait, hold on. Surely there's something here, right? Lock pin. Pin. Hmm. Is that, is that a thing? Or is that... Okay, maybe I'll just have like a floating window here. <laughs> uh, I guess then I don't really need that, huh? Hold on. Anyway, first, let me let me welcome people. Welcome uh, myself. I posted a test message. Welcome three moments. Stanley, Hamflow, Michael, Zayani, Freckleen, Darth Nomad, and Duck, and Slimewolder. Everyone's here today to mourn the loss of this view. I don't know if this is expected. Is this a normal thing? Does anyone else stream VR? Have you seen this happen? Because this is kind of weird. It feels like maybe I have to restart Steam VR or something. Controller settings, video settings. Who knows? It's literally impossible to know. This has never happened to anyone. Does it feel laggy? No, I think it's just this thing. It's just the fact that I'm viewing this through this window rather than the typical way that I view it. This is very disorienting. And then you get to see this, right? Dang. Um, maybe I'll check. Uh, we, could, we could live search for something. Steam VR. Update. Anyway, everyone, it is in fact Wednesday once again. It's that time of the week. Wednesday fishing. We're back here on the lake. Um, remember last week when I started this stream and I could not get the music working and then I had to have like this this temporary Twitch chat? Remember this? <laughs> Remember when we had this thing happen in here last time? Uh, I don't know what happened, but it seems like I don't need this anymore. And the regular stream elements overlay is working. The Spotify music is working. Hopefully. I mean, like, I hear it. No, I see it. I see the music is going. So everything is presumably good. But there's always something broken. Every time we start this game, something's broken. This time, it's the it's the overlay. Next time, who knows? Yeah, Wednesday. What even is the day? Um, another thing is that, you know, recently my computer has been restarting itself. Um, so I turned on my computer maybe like half an hour before this stream. 
just so that in case it restarted, it wouldn't happen during my stream. And it turns out my computer did not restart before I started this stream. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if it means it's going to start just like restarting uh, at some point during the stream. Hopefully not. Because, you know, typically it happens in the first 10 to 15 minutes. And it's been more than that. So I, I simply don't know. If I disconnect, that's why. They'll be like, oh man, where's Wolfie? He just disappeared. This stream is dead, that's why. Um, but it, I don't think it's going to happen, hopefully. Does not seem like a thing that will happen anytime soon. But it could. That's the thing. It always could happen. We always live in fear of the possibility of the stream just ending. And then it'll have the, the not like you guy, you know, that, that guy. Everyone knows that guy. And then we'll be like, oh man, Wolfie was streaming. And now he's not. Anyway, it is March 20th though. If you remember March 10th is Mario Day, then what is Mar 20? What possibly could Mar 20 represent? This is the question that we're here to answer today. Why does March 10th get to be so special? Welcome, Namington. It's March 20. I don't know. I simply, I simply lack critical information. Yeah, Mario Day, but doubled. Two Marios. Mario. I guess the two does kind of look like an R if you like re remove the the left the bar going down. The vertical line, I mean. It's possible. Also, why is the- uh, hold on. <laughs> Since I'm looking at this, okay, this- here we go. This thing has to be in view, otherwise the thing up there doesn't update. And it's weird. But now it's good. Um... Anyway, what else is going on today? I recharged the batteries of my controller. I talked about this, I think, on Monday, maybe, and that my my analog clock, the battery died. And then I had to recharge the battery, but then instead of just doing that, I took a battery from one of my controllers, and I put them in the analog clock, and then I recharged the batteries from the clock, and then once that was done, I put it in this controller. And so now... We have a different battery in one of these controllers. I don't know which one, but I had this issue where... When I put one of the batteries into my my battery recharger thing, it would not work. It didn't light up the thing. And I had to put two batteries in there. And I don't know why. But I was like, is one of the batteries defective? Is it no longer rechargeable? But it does seem like it, it is loading just perfectly fine. So maybe that's not an issue. Maybe everything is going well. But maybe not. Maybe these batteries will one day just stop working. I mean, they will one day just stop working. But maybe sooner than we think. Also, welcome Nutritious. Alright, I haven't been catching. So true. I've just been out here yapping talking about technical difficulties, not even catching and or releasing any fish. There's literally nothing was even out there. We go there. We go here. You like Balatro a fair bit, Wolfie, right? What makes you think that? Why would anyone think that I enjoy this game known as Balatro or Balatro? I simply don't understand. But you are correct. Yes, you are correct. I do enjoy this game. I was playing it yesterday. It's because someone already made a Balatro-like game. Uh, is it called Poker? Is it called, um... Poker? <laughs> It's called Bingle Bingle. Isn't that the the cat from Pokemon? The weed cat? The the um the green cat 
named Bingle. Or Bingus. The battle trope but instead of cards is roulette. Oh wait, I think I saw someone... I think I saw a tweet about that. I didn't actually click the tweet, but... I did see a roulette table. Maybe I'll look it up. He hates Balotro so much he doesn't even pronounce correctly. There is no correct pronunciation though. That's the thing. The developer of the game is like, you know, everyone was like, how do you pronounce this game? And he's like, I don't know. Pronounce it however you want. So some people, they say Balotro. Some people say Balotro. There's probably a third pronunciation. Balotro. Balotro. Bal at row. I don't even know. It's up to you. You can decide the best way to do it. Or maybe you won't even pronounce it at all. Maybe instead of saying Balotro or Balatro, you just say that card poker themed roguelike. And then everyone will know what you're talking about because there really is only one notable one. If there are others, they're not even known. That's there. But we don't know how to pronounce it. No one will ever truly understand the gacha poker game. That's a different game. That's not a roguelike. That's just, uh... It's just poker. Was it poker chase or whatever? I don't know. There's too much happening. It is really weird having this thing open. <laughs> I don't know how to... I don't know how to fix this. I don't know why this menu went away. Is there like an option somewhere in Steam? Roguelike poker. Here, Steam VR. Oh, we got another fish already. Man. Oh god, it's so loud. And I can't read the chat because it's not in focus. Once I'm not focused on the window, the wind, window, the window, it doesn't show up. It doesn't update up there. Look at that. Everything is frozen. Just like the movie known as Frozen. There's no rest. Only fishing. Okay, we go back here. Wait, where am I? go back here we go back to the chat why is the chat not going back there it is okay what do I look up steam VR update desktop view is gone a post from four years ago is there a recent post on the steam VR reddit am I the only one uh, encountering this issue Introducing Steam VR 2.4. So this came out seven days ago. Wasn't this after my last fishing stream though? Um, they fixed some bugs. Presumably they introduced some new bugs. Oh man, other people are saying it broke their updates. <laughs> Pretty sure this update broke my PC VR, seeing as it worked fine four days ago. Oh man. Everyone. What's it doing? Also, why do I have... Oh, this. I guess this keeps my history. My recent reddits that I viewed on this computer. R slash <laughs> R slash Steam VR. And R slash rats. I have been on the, the rat subreddit at some point during this stream. And it will be preserved in the history forever. Steam VR. How do I view desktop in Steam VR? How? Desktop view doesn't oh is this is this the issue that I'm having? Yeah, looking at rats. In Steam VR the desktop view is blank. No way to view the desktop. <clears throat> um Simply start a VR game, it'll populate the desktop view icon. No, it doesn't. This is not true at all. 
don't know. Maybe we'll never figure it out. Maybe this is a bug that only I encounter. Now, how do I get this thing to hide itself, though? Settings. Tracking space world. Tracking space controller. The world, that's what I want. Opacity. Let's lower that opacity. Just a little bit. Block input. Lock. Max FPS, 60. Minimum FPS, 30. Display, primary. Settings. I'll put this over there. And then... And then I do this. I put this over there. Yeah, the rats are out there. Everyone's out there looking at rats. Okay. This is probably fine for now. What is exit layout mode? It's so weird. Why is it like that? Why did they do this to me specifically? Strange. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. It is out here. You know, it's raining on the lake, but it's not raining in real life. And that's that's how things are. That's how life is. You ever stop to think about life sometimes? Ballin', so true. I don't know the context of this ballin'. I don't know why he is even ballin' right now. Can never explain. You can never hope to understand the life of ball. Ball a true. Uh, what did I do today? I did some programming. I ran some load tests at work. I spent a lot of time writing a description for my findings of the load test. I looked at metrics, you know, Prometheus dashboard, Grafana, looking at numbers. Welcome, Ronmu. Did, did I welcome Duck? I think I did. I did. Um, and then, now we're here. We're back here. For the usual. Michael said, I couldn't sleep last night, so when my daily stand-up... So when my daily stand-up at 9 a.m. finished, I slept for three hours. I was also pretty tired today when I woke up. If you slept for three hours, did they did they make you like make up those three hours? Or were they just like, yeah, it's fine. You're tired. Just just go. Just go to sleep, man. Cause I feel like if I if I decided to just take three hours to sleep, everyone would just be like, yeah, that's fine. Don't even worry about it. But I know some places, if you do that, they're like, oh man, you're taking three hours. You gotta, you gotta make this up some other day. Fortunately, in the tech world, I think they're pretty lenient on this kind of stuff. They don't know you're sleeping, but you did make up three hours after. Your project paid anyway, as long as you finish your project. Oh. You don't get paid, like, per... Per salary? Whatever it's called, <laughs> you don't get paid regardless of what you do. We got different payment models out here. Anyway, you know, it's fine. As long as the work gets done, it's all good. When I woke up this morning, I was like, man, I'm so tired. I stayed in bed for like another uh, like five to ten minutes. And then I got up. This is the thing, it's like, waking up is the hardest part. Like, once once I've gotten out of bed, everything is fine. Does anyone, is this, anyone relate to this? When you're like, when you just wake up, you're like, oh, I don't want to get out of bed, I'm so tired. And then like, you stay in bed. But then once you actually get out of bed, even though you're so tired, it's like, it, it's fine. <laughs> everything is perfectly fine. Welcome, Blood Emblem. Yeah, in winter. 
Salary paid, but as long as I finish whatever project I'm assigned, I get paid. But what if you don't finish the project? Do you still get <laughs> do you still get paid? I would hope so. But yeah, I was like, you know, when I wake up, I'm like, man, sure I'm glad I don't have to go physically to an office. Right? <laughs> That's the thing. It's like, you know, if you wake up and you're just working from home, you could you could sleep in for a little bit. If you have to go to the office, then you know you're tired and then you you have to wake up, you have to get up, you have to like walk to the station, take the train. It's even more tiring. You would get paid, but they'd probably get very upset. I see. That's reasonable. That's how things go. I have to wake up at four in the morning. Dang. Then when do you when do you go to sleep? Do you sleep at like 10 p.m., 9 p.m.? Or are you one of those people that also just like sleeps uh, <laughs> not that much? Some people survive on very little sleep. Some people, they're like, oh man, I gotta wake up at 5, but then they go to bed at like 1 a.m. And then they're like, why am I so tired? Oh man. I know I only slept 4 hours, but I shouldn't be this tired. At 11. Oh, so you. Okay. So you are also like that. <laughs> you wake up. You sleep for five hours? Is that enough? That doesn't seem like enough. I often survive on very little sleep. Most of my sleep is three to four hours. Usually I'm not tired. What the? So what are you doing? What are you doing with your time? When do you have to wake up? Do you wake up? Okay, so you said your stand-up is at 9 a.m. And presumably, that is the start of the day. And if you sleep three to four hours, that would mean you go to sleep 5 a.m. <laughs> Maybe. Today you're exceptionally tired. It's probably because you were in the office yesterday. Yeah. That's also the thing about return to office. It's that like... It's not just the days you go to the office. The days after you go to the office are also like you wake up later because you're tired. It's a messed up. It is enough on most days. I guess that's good. You know, if you can survive on five hours of sleep, more power to you. See, I usually like to wake up at 8 a.m. just so I have some time to really wake up and get ready. Although your alarm goes off at 7. So you're one of those people that has your alarm. Do you have like multiple alarms? I know some people they do this thing where they set an alarm at like 7 a.m. They have one at like 7 10 a.m. 7 20 a.m. So 7 30. I don't understand that. That sounds not productive you're like okay i'll be woken up and then i'll go back to sleep and then i'll be woken up again and then i'll go back to sleep and then for real the third time i'll wake up for real that's how they do things welcome to my just the one used to be like that but after i started work my body just wakes me up at seven and then i lie in bed until about eight do you, like, do you wake up and not, are not able to fall back asleep for that hour? Because I have times when, like, you know, normally I have to be up by, like, 9.30. But before I would wake up at, like, 8.30, and then I would look at the clock and be like, Oh, thank God, it's still, it's still early. <laughs> and then I go back to sleep. There are some times when I'll wake up early, and then I'll just, I'll just be like... Yeah, can't go back to sleep. I guess I'll just lie down here. Usually cannot fall asleep again. I see. That does happen. Also, welcome Pompadour Delinquent. Alarms became useless to me because I would always turn them off before. Went off while sleepwalking. I've never sleepwalked. We've definitely talked about sleepwalking before. 
I've never done it. I don't know anyone, personally, who does it. But it's always, it always seems kind of scary. Some people, they're like, they wake up, they're, they're like sleepwalking, and then like, they go into another room. And go to the kitchen, they're like making food, and they're not even aware that they've done it. So I usually try to go back to sleep, but if it's the weekend, I like to get up and enjoy not working. I feel like most people are the opposite. If they wake up on the weekend early, they just go back to sleep. So thank you Slime Molder for the 18 months. 18 ballin. I used to fear spooky dreams and nightmares of losing my teeth and stuff. Today it's the slack sound effect that scares me. Dang. Isn't like losing your teeth in a dream like it signifies something? I forget what it represents, but you know, people analyze dreams and they're like, okay, if your teeth fall out in a dream, it means this. If you fall in a dream, you're doing this. If you're flying in a dream, it's this. Stress related. Maybe. I think I have had like at least one dream where my teeth fell out. I don't know how stressed I was though. Waking up in another room is super weird because your brain is all lost trying to figure out where you are. It would be quite disorienting. Thankfully, it's never happened to me. I could not imagine. It's gotta be scary though. You're like, oh god, what did I do? What have I done? Why am I not in bed right now? You get those dreams a lot? What? What's the most common recurring dream for you all? I've had- I used to have these dreams where I would be like, you know those- those railings on stairs? And you know how some people slide down them? Hold on, let me see if I can draw this. It'd be easier to do this if the, uh, the PC mode worked. What the heck? Why- why did all- <laughs> why did it move all the stuff over? Okay. So I have to do this now. I have to, like, physically move objects around. I can't just summon a floating window like I used to. And then when I'm not looking at the window, it disappears because I have auto high turn on. Look at that. Hold on. After I catch this fish, I will illustrate a common dream that I have. I don't think I've had one of those dreams in a while. But it's like... It used to happen pretty often. Okay, we got this fish. We're catching it. It is being caught right now, as we speak. Soon. So soon. Very soon. Wow. <laughs> Why is it impossible to reel in? It's hard to catch. I get a lot of Discord related dreams. Those are probably the most commonly occurring ones. I don't think I've ever had a dream about Discord. I don't think I've had a dream where I used um, a messaging app before. Maybe because like I don't use them enough? Are you like on Discord all the time? You're like constantly chatting on Discord. Okay, here's- I'm going to illustrate one of the dreams that I have had. All the time, you're always on Discord. Okay, we're gonna go to... Oh god, where is it? Jizzpaint.app Okay, so like- oh god, okay, here, here we go. Okay, so imagine some stairs, right? You have stairs. And then the stairs, they have like this railing, right? You hold on to the railing. And you know some people, they slide down the railing. Like when they're going down the stairs. They like, they sit on this thing. And then they like, they hold on to this thing. And then they start, they start zooming down the stairs, right? I've had many dreams where I have been on one of these. 
and then like the, the railing just stops. But then like I slide down the railing really fast. And then like I I go off the rails. Yo, he's going off the rails. And then once I go off the rails, I just fly. Those have been pretty cool dreams, you know, you, you go off the railing and then suddenly you're just like floating in the air. And then you can kind of just go wherever you want. I'm like, okay, it's kind of like when you gather momentum. Like you're going down a hill. And then once you have the momentum from the hill and then suddenly you're like, bam, you have a lot of, a lot of velocity. And then you just start flying where you want that is a common dream that I used to have um, it's pretty cool every time it feels so free and then you're like man how do I do this this is so cool and then I wake up and then realize it wasn't real so that's a thing discord that's always on discord constantly on discord i you know i feel like i send a discord message once every week maybe once every two weeks just not very not very discord person personally maybe it's just me because i got nothing to say on discord I used to dream i would go down the stairs by sliding on the steps that's like, that's kind of like what I did, right? Similar. It's a similar sort of situation that I have. I feel like part of my hair is like stuck in the VR headset. <laughs> Hold on. Feels slightly uncomfortable. It's fine. It's like, you know how like when you put on the headset, it's like uh, it goes on your face, obviously. Like this is the headset. But then, you know, it goes over the hair, and I think some of the hair, whoops, what did I just do? Some of the hair is like in there. I don't know how to get it out. Whatever, it's fine. Um, go back here. Anyway, what else is going on? I don't know. It's not that, there's literally nothing going on. I played a lot of Bellatro yesterday. Perhaps too much. I got to, to gold stakes with the green deck. And then I was like, man, this is actually kind of hard. Having minus one hand size is impossible. But I tried. I had a run that was going pretty well and then I made a stupid mistake that could have been avoided. And then I lost. And I was like, oh man. Every time I make a mistake, I'm like, is there an undo button? Can I undo this thing that I just did? But you can't. You can't do it. Office day again tomorrow. It's too bad to hear that. Unfortunate situation. But soon I will also have to have to be in that situation. I have this week and next week where I don't have to go to the office and then you know coming up in April I may not be streaming on Tuesdays and Thursdays isn't that mess up it's hecked up work out here messing up my streaming schedule the streak it'll be like oh man it's Tuesday can't wait to tune into a Wolfie stream and then like I'm not there Thursday. Yeah, they don't care. They never asked streamers. They never asked the audience of the streamers. April's your one year anniversary at this job. Yo, congrats soon. Soon congrats. That's a good milestone. If it was a public company that had stocks, that's when they would give you the stocks. But it may not be such a thing. It's a common thing, you know, at companies. You stay there for a year, they give you they give you the stocks. Not all of them, just some of them. Congrats on Slack. 
Actually, you know, that's more than some places. I think at one of the previous, I think at the previous places I worked at, they would always send like a, like there was like a weekly email that's like, here's what's going on at the company this week. Here's all the anniversaries of this week. And then like no one really reads those emails. But sometimes they do and they're like, hey, whoa, it's been a year. After nine months, you get plus five days off. Yo, plus five molt. It's pretty nice. How many days off does do people tend to get? I've never really like paid attention to it because I like like barely take holidays. I barely take days off at work. But all the places I've worked, we've never formally had to like fill in when we're taking vacation. It was kind of just like you just take the days off. You don't have to like put it in a work day or whatever. You just do it as long as your manager is aware. Which is funny because like when I when I left the company that I worked at for seven years, since we never <laughs> we never had to fill in when we had the days off. Although technically we did have like an allotted amount of days we had off. Like when you quit, it'll be like, here's how many days off you have remaining. And it was like since I worked there for seven years, I guess, I don't know, I, I feel like it doesn't accumulate, but for some reason it showed that I had like so many days that I had available to take off. And I was like, wow. I did not fill in any of this stuff. The company switched to unlimited PTO, but it's not truly unlimited. I think my company's... So like the thing is, the place I worked at for seven years, there was like... It's part of like, it's like the tech part of like a bigger company. And I think the, the company in general expects you to fill in those things. But since we're like on the tech side of it, none of our managers really care. So it was just there as a formality. It's like all, I, I feel like there was one time when someone wanted to, when someone was like interviewing at our company and then they asked about the vacation policy they're like, hmm, I see on the website it says we have this many days off. And then one of the people from our side was like, yeah, that's there, but like none of us really pay attention to that. That's not really an issue. But they didn't believe us. They were like, well, okay, well, it says on the website you have uh, you have this many days off. That's not that many days. And then I think they were not interested in working for us because they assumed that we cared. So that was something. But we didn't really care. People just take time off. If you save up a full year here, you get six work weeks worth of time off. If you save up a full year, how does that work? You save up a full year. Like if you don't take any vacation for a year? Oh, I see. That's very generous. A whole year, six months, or sorry, six months, oh, that'd be crazy. Six weeks a year? That's like, that's a lot. Although I feel like in, in Europe, they're pretty, they're pretty good on that. They do tend to take more vacations. Also, welcome, Choco. Yeah, six years off. Whoa, six months off. Six years per year? Wow. Six centuries off. Imagine getting six years of vacation for every year you've worked. It's wacky. Anyway, yeah, we never really keep track. But you could, could keep track. I feel like my team doesn't keep track either. Like last time, when it was like Christmas time, I like submitted, I wasn't sure if we kept track, so like I went on our our HR platform or whatever and then like I, I submitted a vacation request for <laughs> for the week between Christmas and New Year's. And my manager did not see it until like two weeks after the vacation already occurred. So like I feel like we don't really care here. As long as, as long as people know, it's fine. I think my job is too small for people to care too much. That is also 
entirely possible. Now we'll switch scheduling programs. What does everyone use at their workplace for HR stuff? I feel like at two of the companies that I've worked at, we use Workday. And then I think at the startup I worked at, we use Rippling. I forget what we used at the first place I worked at. We use Workday. Isn't there one called like ADT or something? Some other, some other legacy platform. I think I mentioned how I took three days off between Christmas and New Year's and my manager didn't subtract three days from my saved days. That's cool. It's cool when people don't care too much when you take days off. Like I remember at, at the startup I worked at, the one I got laid off from, um, my manager would take so many vacation days. Actually, so like I worked with a lot of a lot of people from Europe, and they took so many vacation days, and it was fine. No one really cared, <laughs> but it was kind of expected. Um, and I barely took any vacations, and my manager was like, "Hey, you should be taking more vacations." Manager takes a lot of vacation. That I feel like that's been the case for like a lot of the places I've worked at. Also, welcome a doe mont dow. Are the fish biting? Yes, yes they are. Let's see, it used to be you had to get your time in by Tuesday of the following week. Now there's not really a deadline. Get your time in by Tuesday. Let me see. Also, there's like a car horn outside. Is someone breaking into a car? I don't know. Car alarms. Does anyone react to car alarms anymore? I feel that's just, you know, you hear a car alarm and you're like, that's just how it is. That's how things go out here. Info says, I remember using, oh, it's ADP. Right, I thought it was ADT. ADT is like the home protection service or something. I've never used ADP, but I think it looks very old. Looks, it seems very legacy to me. Our company has a European branch. They are always out of office. Exactly. <laughs> Americans trying to talk to the European counterparts. Sorry, they're on vacation again. It does happen. What, what's the deal? What's up with that, though? Why are Americans just always working? And the Europeans are out there always on vacation. They're out there living their best life. Americans are just too busy with the, the grind set, you know? What's up with that? And I think even even between Europeans, there's like... Between my European coworkers at the at the company, I feel like everyone always made fun of the French guy for like taking <laughs> for having a lot of vacation days. He's like, oh yeah, look, we're having vacation, but like it's nothing like this French guy. Ha, huh, look at him. He's got all the days. Something like that. I don't know. And I'm just here like, as an American, like I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. Let's enter time codes. What the got bought by a big company, so they have their own homegrown programs for all that stuff. And I'm sure there's like subtle bugs. Things that just don't work. Because someone in-house built it. And then everyone just lives with it. They're like, oh yeah, that thing? Yeah, it never works. I always have to like type this thing in. I have to wait a few minutes. And everyone just accepts it. That's how it is. They're doing it right over there. Breaks make you work better. It's also true. It's like it's like when you're focused so much on a task, and then you take a short break from it, and you come back, and then you're like, "Oh, I get it now. I understand everything there is to know because I took some time off." It's a common problem-solving technique. It works in many industries. When you have to do creative stuff. When you have to do physical labor that I've never done. I've never had to do physical labor as a job. 
But if I did, I would appreciate time off, because then you don't have to work that physical labor. And then you could recover your muscles. Can't relate. I've never done it. But you could. Perhaps you have done it. You could be doing it right now. You've done it once. Like literally once. Like one one physical labor. It's a joke. I mean, you know, your job. You've had one job that you've done. It. I don't know. I've never done it as a job. I know. I know. I was just making fun of it. I said, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be funny if it was literally just once? <laughs> just literally, I just tried it one time. Wait, no, I think that's what Northern Lion did. He, he often tells this story about how he, like... I forgot what the exact story is. But then he had, like, this one thing where he had to, like, move boxes or whatever. And then he did it for one day and then decided this is, like, too much and then he just quit. That may be just, a. Uh, Incorrect paraphrasing of his story, but I feel like he's he's told that story a few times And I'm like that makes sense. Yeah, it's like one day It's fine if you have good co-workers, but if you don't then it sucks It's also true So true I feel like the more like menial a job is the, the more your coworkers matter, <laughs> right? It's like if you're working a tech job and you're working like from home all the time and your coworkers suck, it's like whatever. It's like it sucks, but it's not the end of the world. But if you're working like a retail job and all your coworkers suck, then it's like it's got to be like the worst. Or if you're doing manual labor and all your coworkers suck, it's got to be bad. You know, us out here with our or nice work from home jobs. Some people don't even have co workers, right? If you're like self employed, it's just you. You're just doing your own thing. That's how it is. I wonder if I can find this story. <laughs> Northern Line, how do I look it up? Northern Line manual labor job one day. Northern Line. Manual labor one day job. <laughs> Can I? F is this enough? Is this enough information? No, maybe not. Moving job. Allow Google to access your location. No. Moving. What is it? Moving job. I don't know, you know what, whatever. <laughs> what the heck, what the heck happened here? Do you see this? Why did this fishing line get put all the way over there? I don't know. Anyway, that's the thing, you could look it up. Maybe I just made it up. Maybe he never talked about it. And my brain just made it up. Pretending like that is something that he's mentioned before. Does that happen? Has anyone incorrectly remembered something about a streamer? They're like, oh, remember that time when when Wolfie did this thing and then I never did it. Did I see that I that you requested paper bag to draw Choco J Dog and he drew it? I did not see that because I have not seen a paper bag stream in months. I have never been able to catch his stream due to his streaming hours. So I do not know. But that's cool though. You know who else has drawn Choku Day Dog? Hamflo. Sometimes when he does those drawing streams, Choku Day Dog does get requested. And then he draws them. Remember that time I requested Choco J Dog Ham Flow 3 Ham? That was there. I have drawn it. 
If I was in the Choco Cord, I would have seen I am in the Choco Cord. I just don't pay attention to <laughs> most discords. Zoli also do Choco Jena. What the? I'm missing out on so much. Sometimes discords have too many channels. I don't know what to pay attention to. Like if it's not in if it's not in the general channel or the announcements channel, I just don't know that it happens. I lurk in a ton of discords. There's too many servers. Yeah, there's too many. There's too many. I'm in the I'm in the VTube Studio Discord. I'm in the Wolfy Discord. The Choco Jacks Discord. There's so many discords. And only check one or two servers. It's true. So true. I'm like in a lot of servers. I only really check the general channel. And the announcements channel. If it's not general or an announcement. Or, or an announcement. Then it just doesn't exist. Remember this time I got Choco to draw hand flow. Requesting an MS Paint drawing of Choco J Dong. I do not remember that. Welcome cryptic command. Being in your own server. It's true. Some people don't even post in their own server. Imagine that. Imagine not posting in your own server. Haha. <laughs> like that wealth cord only has two text channels. It's true. Cause like I don't know, what else would you have in there? All you need is is general and media. And they're kind of the same thing, honestly. <laughs> Most VTubers. Imagine posting on Discord. Like, what, what, what are the common channels on Discords? You have general, you have media. You have memes. You have art. You have other people's art. You have... You have, um... I don't know. <laughs> Vent Among Us of Among Us venting Choco Day Dong posting memes in general Memes channel Announcements Spam is there a spam channel in the Discord you go to? I guess like emote spam. That's a thing. Um a watch along channel. Some some discords have a watch along channel. Games, gaming. Um, I don't know. I could just let me just check the discords I'm on. What what channels do they have? <laughs> VTubers, tech, anime. Um. Art, music, in real life, sub only channel, suggestions channel, self promo channel, which I never, I never understood self promo channels, arts and crafts, hobbies, Minecraft, the VTuber channel, the whole alive channel. No, it depends on the server. Anyway, let me hydrate. It is 6 p.m. right now. Why can't I move the cursor? There it is. Okay, we go here. Alright, I've hydrated. A Sprite and Pepsi channel? Do you have a Sprite and Pepsi channel? What's the best channel on any Discord? 
If you've ever been in a Discord and you're like, man, I'm sure I'm glad they have this channel. Media sharing, music sharing, gotcha games, suggestions, pilk drinking. Uh, memes, clips channel, memes, the rat channel, I don't but I think that'd be a good channel, Sprite and Pepsi, what will you talk about there, just Sprite and Pepsi, what about the dreams channel, a channel where you just talk about the dreams you had, that you had a dream about, uh, a dog. It's a good dog. Arby's roleplay. Is that a is that a channel? McDonald's. Burger King channel. Is there a channel where people just post the uh, the fast food orders they got? I would make a dreams channel on my Discord if I had a lot of people. You could still make it. You, you could make it and then people will, will, will join and the, the, there will be content already in there for people to read. As a channel and teeny server. Arby's roleplay? I see. You know, I don't tend to join discords that often. It's like, um, it's pretty rare. Sometimes I join Discord and join Discord. I can't talk. Join Discords only because I have like the the Twitch sub and it's connected to their Discord and then I can use their emote even though I don't have Twitch Prime. Sorry, not Twitch Prime. Um Discord Nitro. It's one of the reasons that I will join a Discord is to use their emotes. Still thinking about Balatro. Yeah, we can have like a Balatro channel. Where you just post your best builds. Okay, check it out, y'all. Here's my here's my 50 billion point hand. Welcome, Brooke, as well. Yo, check it out, y'all. Here is it. Here is society. Went back from a good run. Like physically running or like a video uh, video game run isn't it funny when people say the word run but it's in reference to um a roguelike also welcome raiders let me show you out hold on hold on i have quite a different setup today i can't easily change my window Okay, let's see. Let's shout out Avi. What are you doing? You're streaming Silent Hill 2. This SH2 stream is different. That's not a CRTV. What could she mean by this? I don't know what you mean by this, but I hope you had a good stream. Hope those those hills were silent too as well. Uh, welcome Outlawed Max. welcome Absurdist Scribbler, thank you Modern for the resub. Welcome Nick, welcome Nayu, Zepter, Yuhi, uh, Chitin Cuddler, Chia, Kringy, Kringy Tingy, not Sea Dog. Um, everyone, everyone's here. Are the hills really silent? Yeah, if they were so silent, why... I don't know where I'm going with this. If they're so silent, are they even real? If we can't hear the hills, do we even know that they're real? Aren't hills silent by default, though? Like, what makes those silent hills so special? This nice pod is more silent than the town called Silent Hills. There were so many enemies. That doesn't sound silent at all. What were they even doing? The hills were really so silent, why did they make so many games about it? No, you know, things are interesting even when they're silent. 
Nobody have asked the hills anything. Maybe they yep. Maybe they have eyes. You ever consider this? That the hills could have eyes? What could they even see? Bread. It's like, um, you know, when you have something that's already silent, and you put the you put the free the prefix silent in front of it, you're like isn't it already silent? Like if you said like um, the silent book, you're like that doesn't make sense. They're already silent. What's so special about this one? You know the silent uh, cloud, the silent um, sunlight, the silent building. I don't know. Also, welcome Uncle Biku. Yeah, that's a movie. The hills have eyes. Like in Mario? Oh yeah, the, the hills in Mario do have eyes. If a hill is silent and no one is around to not hear it, does it make no sound? There's too many negatives in this sentence, I don't understand. Anyway, speaking of hills, I saw I saw a tweet on my timeline today. That was like something about like Kate Bush having a song about hills, and then like a reporter asked her like, "Have you have you ever seen a hill?" And she's like, "I've literally never seen a hill." And then the reporter was like, "Oh, there's one outside right now. Please take a look." And she was like, "I refuse. Don't ask me any questions about hills. Is this real, chat? Did I make this up? What was her name? You saw that tweet too? Yeah. Is that real?" <laughs> Kate Bush Hill interview. <laughs> Did Kate Bush say she has never seen a hill? Is this real? Originated as satire. So like this is not like real. This interview didn't happen. <laughs> Kate Bush, the singer and composer behind the song Running Up That Hill, said something is literally about running up a hill, but it's not. I've never even seen a hill. Let alone run up one. Okay, what is what does Snopes have to say about this? One tweet went viral after claiming to quote an interview that she did. Yeah, it's this tweet. This is the same tweet. <laughs> the screenshot is fake and intended as a joke. Okay. Apparently, it's not real. I thought I thought it was a. I don't actually know who Kate Bush is. I don't know music. This is like the only thing I know about her, and I was inclined to believe it because I had I had no sense of reference. Um, yeah, okay, it's not real. The interview makes no mention of whether or not she has seen a hill. It is the first recorded interview she's had in six years. Okay, well now we know. Don't believe everything you read online. Yeah, don't tell me about hills. She's a neat- yo, just like me. Spreading misinformation. It's fine if it's funny, you know? If you- if you see a tweet and you're like, This feels unrealistic, however, it is kind of funny if it was true. Then maybe you could believe it, like as a joke. It can't be fake. All things on the internet are true. People never lie. So true. Also, there's a fish. Imagine lying. I would never lie. Look, this fish is fighting for its life out here. And I think that's fine. People lie. Imagine lying, though. To betray people's trust. And for what? For clout? Not me. I have video proof of me lying? When? When has that happened? Choco lies all the time. I feel like when Choco lies, she does like literally five seconds afterwards say, sorry, that was a lie. <laughs> and does that does happen. It happens very often actually she feels so bad when she's lying it's like really obvious <laughs> she, she will say like oh sorry guys i, I didn't mean oh god it just hit my hand she'll just be like 
sorry, that was a lie. I didn't mean that. Literally right after. When I got motion sick in the cave, what did I what did I lie about? Oh, I get it. Like lie. I see. I understand. You're you're using the multiple definitions of the word lying, such as lying down horizontally in bed versus not telling the truth. I get it. It's valid. That's valid. <clears throat> I have lied before. In fact, I lie every day. When I go to sleep, I'm I'm literally lying. How can someone be like I did not mean to lie? It's like uh when you, when you lie by accident. I do like lying, but I do not enjoy lying. Yes, because there, there's different there's different meanings of the word lying. I do enjoy lying down to, to sleep, <clears throat> but not telling the truth that's that's something else. Have I ever limed? Have you? Have you ever limed? What does that even mean? <clears throat> How does one lime? Lyme disease. You ever think about Lyme disease? What even is Lyme disease? It's not related to limes. I don't have any lie. What even is that? I enjoy telling stories and to make up scenarios. Is that lying? Um, I think they're different. To tell a story that is not based on reality, I don't think it counts as lying. It would just be like a like a creative exercise. As long as the people that are listening to it are not led to believe that it's real. <clears throat> but if they do think it's real, and you don't... Uh, well, I don't know. I guess it kind of depends. It depends on the person, right? What if you're telling a story that is obviously meant to be satire, but then the person doesn't have enough like context to know that this is obviously a joke? Does that count as lying? I don't know. Like that Kate Bush thing. I mean, that is obviously lying because it didn't happen, but like... What if your target audience was people that already know that this is satire? Like, would the Onion articles be considered lying? When, when, what is the, what is the difference between satire and lying? It would not be on the person, I don't know. Are Onion articles not real? The articles are real. But sometimes the things that are represented in the articles are not representative of reality. Eat enough limes and you might become limestone. That's what lime disease is. I, I don't think so. I feel like this is a lime. I feel like you're liming right now. It's false information. We don't know. We simply don't know. Onion articles. When was the last good onion article now? Lyme disease comes from limes. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Why do they call it that? <clears throat> Why do they call it limestone anyway? You're telling me they're turning they're turning limes into stone. <clears throat> All right, hold on. What is Lyme disease? Isn't it lime? Isn't Lyme disease spelled like L Y M E? Yeah, it's L Y M E. It's different. Lyme disease is caused by the bacterium Borrelia burgdorferi. That's a funny name. Oh shoot, there's a fish. What is it? Burgdorferi. And rarely Borrelia mayoni. Wow, those are some names. I can't read chat when I'm focused on this uh, this tab, though, unfortunately. I will have to finish catching this fish. Look, all the animated images are no longer animated. Also, I don't think I, I don't think I welcome Yurga. Welcome Yurga. 
Or maybe I did. Maybe you've been greeted twice. Okay, hold on. Go back to we'll go back to the chat. There it is. Have I ever licked it? What lime? Limestone? I've never licked a limestone. Limed. She limed. Aurora Borealis. This game does have Aurora Borealis, but um, not right now. We're still we're still in daytime mode. Sometimes it shows up at night, and it is quite the sight to behold. But it's also pretty rare, so you can't you can't depend on it. This game is chill. It is a good game. I would recommend it. This music typically is not part of this game, though. <laughs> this is my own... My own different music. Also welcome... Uh, I can't say that name. I can't say that. It's got a swear in it. Welcome, though. Is there a reason why I never moved from this spot? I literally... I was, like, right there. <laughs> A month ago. <laughs> I could move. Welcome BK. Here, I could I could move um Okay, so like the reason that I don't move over there is that the waterfall's really loud. The reason I don't go into the cave is cause it's really dark in there and cramped and I get motion sickness. And uh the reason I don't go over there is cause it's really dark. And the reason I don't go to those bushes is because there's mosquitoes there. And those mosquitoes are really loud. And they're really loud. I, I feel like the last time I went over there was probably like two years ago. And it was very annoying. And I left immediately. Um, this place is fine. That place is fine right there. This place is nice though. I mean, I could go, I could go over there. You know, it has been a while. It's been a very long time since I've been over there. <laughs> you know, let's, let's go over there. There's a spot with a lot of bugs. Yeah, that one. This place was good because you can see all the things. Yeah, also, that, that is also true. Over here, you can see the bear. Okay, if you're over here, the bear shows up over there. Sometimes it's up there. If you're close to that area, the bear doesn't spawn. Um, you know what? Let, let's go for a change of scenery. Also welcome Watchmaker. Also welcome Beko. Yeah, also you can see when the Aurora, <laughs> Aurora, I can't talk, the Aurora Borealis shows up. It's like right there. Easy to see. This is like one of the best locations. <laughs> but okay, let's go somewhere else. Let's go over there, and we'll probably stay there for several months, because I don't feel like moving around that much. I also don't tend to move that much because I get motion sickness, but this is why I stare at the boat when I'm rowing, and I simply have to trust that I'm going the right way. It's boat time. Okay, you gotta turn. Yeah, motion sickness? It sucks. That's why I'm stationary all the time. Okay, here we go. Sail backwards. No, nah, it's fine. There's probably a more optimal way to do this. I feel like I am going quite slowly. <laughs> when I was using VR, I had to close my eyes every time I moved around. Yeah, I think some games have that built in. Like, if you play VR chat, the default movement method isn't smooth. It's like you, you move the controller, and then it, like, it moves your avatar. And then after you let go, you teleport. That's a thing. I mean, I feel like, like, Choco, you have, like, you have an issue with motion sickness even with, like, not VR, right? So, like, I feel like it must be even worse in VR. You should wear C bands. Have to wear those when I do VR. C bands. What's that? I don't know what that is. The 3D of me rowing is so good. What is that even? Hold on. Let me see what this looks like. That is true. It does look cool. 
woozy. She's out there being woozy. Moe. You know, this is this is the most I've moved around in this game in a long time. Okay. And go here. Okay, so you see those green things over there? That's where the mosquitoes are. You don't want to go there. It's uh, it's too much. Also, welcome Tau Warlord. So, okay, you hear the bugs? You hearing this? This is why I don't come to this area that often. There's bugs in the distance. There's a tree. It's got a kite right there. That's a place. Yeah, the freaking bugs out here. Never heard of sea bands. Maybe I should look this up. What is a sea band? They're little bracelets with plastic ball that presses on a pressure point. It's supposed to help with motion sickness. Oh. Maybe. You know, like, I've watched a lot of videos that are like, hey, if you have issues with motion sickness in VR, here's, th here's things you can do. But they've never talked about C bands. Never heard about this until just now. But maybe it could help. Okay, we're in a new area. We're gonna stay here for a while. Some time. There's bugs. You can hear the bugs in the background. Bugs that do not exist back there. Yeah, forever. We're going to be here for months. Until I decide the sound of bugs is too annoying. Is that the beetle emoji? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Move over. Okay, let me go here. Let me allow your message. Which is presumably the beetle emoji, which is not showing up on my computer for some reason. Also the word clay. You're not allowed to say clay normally in chat for some reason. Take the bugs and use them as bait. Now you got this worm. It's kind of like a bug. It's green. Clay. Now it has to be clay like on its own. Clay, or the beetle emoji, no additional words, only that. Or the toothbrush emoji. The toothbrush emoji also is not allowed. I don't know why. It just happens. That's just how it is. Those are the three words that we found that are not allowed on Twitch. It is weird, right? What's, what's up with that? Why did they do that? We don't know. We'll never know. Is that three beetle emojis? Oh, that's, that's three toothbrushes? We found this on Beetle Day? No, we found this out when I was talking about the Beatles. Like the band known as the Beatles. <laughs> See, Becco said, I had a pregnant friend that would get motion sick a lot. I looked into what helped, and that's how I discovered eating ginger. Oh yeah, I, I did hear that eating ginger helps. I bought some myself for VR. I do feel like I last longer wearing them than when I don't. I see. Maybe I should look this up. I know when, when Choco plays um, games that she gets motion sick, she takes like Dramamine, right? Whatever it's called. Ginger. Whoa, what the frick? Here's the issue with being in this area, also. That plane flies really close. I, I feel like every time that plane flies through this area, I'm like on that side, and it's like not that close. Literally, it was like just right here. It could have crashed into us. Yeah, drama meme. I kept eating ginger powder, now I feel a little repulsed thinking about eating ginger powder. <laughs> What's wrong with ginger powder? Oh, you used to take Dramamine. Was this recent? You switched to ginger? Did I miss this? 
They missed the meta. Ginger powder is not good by itself. You could mix it with like other stuff. I don't know. <laughs> you could put it in the water. Okay, that's what you did. That's why it's bad. Okay, maybe you don't do. What if? What if you put it like with tea though? Yeah, tea. <laughs> like like with the uh, honey with tea, maybe. That could be good. I forgot ginger is a spice, and the first to come to mind is a redhead person, a ginger. That is true. That is terminology that people use. Yeah, you put it in the tea. My parents would always give me boiled ginger when I was sick. Tasted horrible. I don't think I've ever had. Isn't there like ginger candy? Also, isn't ginger ale- does ginger ale actually consist of ginger? Does ginger ale help with uh, motion sickness? Hold on, let's look up C-band. C-band nausea relief. What's this? Ah, oh, it's just- I see. I see. Maybe. Maybe this works. Surprise I've never heard of it until today. Ginger candy. Lemon. Lemon with ginger. Uh, don't consume dry ginger powder. Do not create the next cinnamon challenge. When was- that was like a long time ago, the ginger challenge. Sorry, the, the cinnamon challenge. Ginger candy. Maybe if you buy fancy ginger ale. Normal soda ginger ale doesn't seem too gingery. Does ginger ale have ginger? It's made with ginger root and a sweetener. Many commercial ginger ales contain little ginger and a lot of added sugar. <laughs> Some traditional varieties contain real fermented ginger root. Okay, so most most of them don't have that much. Okay, so everything from now on everybody says is tainted by ginger in your mind. A redhead person just holding you to not get you motion sick. Imagine though, imagine ginger ale. It's just made of ginger people. Gingerbread. What if the gingerbread man was just a redhead bread man? See, I always hear about people drinking ginger ale on planes. Maybe it helps a bit. Wait, they do. They do give ginger ale on planes. I remember when I was on a plane, they did give me ginger ale. No, I didn't I didn't feel motion sick on a plane or anything, so I don't feel like I needed it. But maybe. Like the movie The Perfume but with gingers. I don't know that movie. <laughs> I don't I don't know many movies. It helps with the tongue, I see. What am I cooking? We don't know. Simply just don't know. Sorry, why was I drawing this? Let's get that out of there. Um, NL hasn't movie pilled you? No. He does know many movies. But that doesn't make me want to watch the movies though. Just because someone you watch is familiar with media doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to watch that media. Have you been uh, have you been influenced into watching things because of a streamer? Ever been a case where like a streamer would talk about something and you're like, I don't know what this is, and then like they keep talking about it, and then you're like, I gotta, I guess I have to check this out. I feel like it doesn't happen that often for me personally, but you know, maybe there's like someone that you watch and they're always like talking about uh, like a gacha game or something. 
you always talk about an anime and you're like I gotta watch this gotta watch this anime otherwise I won't understand you do that you were influenced to watch me by Chia that's cool that's neat do that from time to time and was in his Madrina's coffee arc was he is he is he really though haven't heard him talk about that in years yeah that was that was a long time ago <clears throat> oh sorry oh you mean when he was in his arc that's when you tried it I see I misread your message I thought you meant he was he's currently in that arc yeah no I remember I remember his friends were also sponsored by Madrinas right Bear Taffy you watched him before Isaac holy trick that's like a long time ago I watched him during Flash Isaac, but before Isaac, you were watching like in the <laughs> in the Poison Mushroom era. That's like forever ago. Let's see, Potato says if they host anime watch parties, does that count as being influenced? Um, I guess yeah. If you watched it because of them, his game review days, even before Isaac, dang. That's older than that's like that's it's like forever ago. You ever like watch an old video from someone and their voice sounds so different? It's definitely true of Northern Line. If you ever watch his videos from like maybe even five years ago, you're like, why does he sound so different? He sound he his voice has changed so much over the years. Like, even just five years ago, like, but pre-pandemic, if I watch a, a video from his from, like, five years ago, I'm like, this is not, this, I, I was there when he was, when he was streaming this. He did not sound like this. You watch I know because of Chia, it's based. I know a lot of YouTubers that watch I know. It's nice. Maybe years of constant talking does that to you. Yeah, but I won't expect it to be, like, that drastic, though. It's like five years. I guess five years is a long time. Like when you think about it, that pandemic, twenty nineteen. Everyone, twenty nineteen was five years ago. It's half a decade ago. Um, but it doesn't feel like that long ago. But it was. Didn't realize NL was younger than Germa, who I also watched because of Chia. Dang. You were being you were being so influenced right now. I know some people that started watching NL because of me, because I talk about him. Being influenced. Wonder how different mine sounds, but I'm too scared to go back and listen. That's why you gotta like when you have your anniversary streams, you gotta go back and rewatch your old VODs. And then you can be like, oh man, this is so cringe. I sound so different. I definitely sounded different like three years ago. When I tune into my streams, I'm like, why is he talking like that? Why is he breathing like that? What the frick? What's he doing? I don't know what he's doing. I think of NL as Netherlands. I think that's a common thing. Of people that don't typically interface with Northern Line, when you see NL, you probably do think of Netherlands. Or maybe like you go to the Netherlands and then you see NL everywhere and you're like, yo, they must love, wow, they love Northern Line here in this country. They're so wacky. They love that. They love this guy. Yeah, what's he doing? Why is he talking like this? We will never know. Watching more Joel Vine sauce because of the hammies. I feel like I used to watch Vine Sauce clips on YouTube. And although I am subscribed, or although I am following him on Twitch, I like never actually tune into his Twitch streams. Or at least I, I don't know, just very rarely. 
But also, he doesn't stream, like, that often. I feel like every time I'm on Twitch, I rarely ever see... Vine Sauce streaming. The Voices of the Void? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Welcome Chaos Ryan as well. I would watch Vine Sauce on their crusty old site. They had a... They had a website? Remember when everyone had their own website? Remember when it wasn't just Twitter and Facebook? I guess Facebook. I, I don't see Facebook anymore. Oh, frick, everyone, look, the bear. Hold on. Oh, but I can't. I can't easily. <laughs> right, uh, the Steam VR update makes it so that I can't pause the game and do stuff anymore. Anyway, you have to trust me. There's a bear right there. It's standing up. It's literally standing up right now. I can't easily show you all, but it's there. It's gonna run away. No, it's sitting. It's sitting. Hold on. What's happening? Why is it trying to open OBS again? OBS is already running. Unless you meant to do this, please shut down any existing instances of OBS. Uh, cancel? Can I cancel? Cancel. All right, the bear is gone. Never mind, it's gone. So much to watch and do. Voices of the Void. You still don't know who I know? It's Northern Lion. It's the lion from the north. Void of Aliens. Voices of the Void is a game where you're in the middle of the woods getting signals from outer space, possibly getting driven insane. I see. It's too many games. It's notable for looking like Source Gmod, but actually being unreal. Whoa, what the? How do they make the engine look like another engine? I remember that. Yo, is that J Smith OTI? It's a three hour video battle. Is it a good game? Yeah, it's unreal. How did they make the engine so unreal? It's also free. Is it a horror game? I feel like every time I go on itch to look for games to play on stream, like 90% of them are like, hey, here's like a spooky, uh, <laughs> here's a spooky low poly game. And I'm never interested, sort of. I don't know. The controls are made for crab people. I mean, I guess crab peoples need their games, right? Crab people need their games as well. They need content made for them. Just because we're humans doesn't mean everything has to be for us. Yeah, look, there's a deer over there. Seeing this deer? Alright, let me look it up. What's this game called? Voices of the Void. Pre-alpha. It's also a song. Yo, Joel played it. That's why. TV tropes. GitHub pages. Voices of the Void. Oh, look at that lighting. That's some nice, some nice lighting effects they got. I don't know, maybe. I don't play because scary. This doesn't seem like a game that I would play on stream though, <laughs> or in general. But you know, it, it could it could be uh, an enjoyable game for some streamers. Joel has a two hour thirty minute video of this game. Voices of the Void. See that's that's not my neighbor is such a good horror game. It's basically papers please, but you have to suss out which person is impossible. Yeah, oh, sus. Not that's not my neighbor. 
I don't know. There's a lot of games out there. This weekend on uh, this past Saturday, sorry, this past Sunday, I was just going through like the, the free games on itch. And there's like a lot of them. Just trying to decide what to play. Let's see, do I have... Are they there? How do I go to my desktop? What's the fastest way? Oh, show the desktop. Okay. Wait, why? Why is this? Is not my desktop. Where's my desktop? Oh god, what happened? Here, you click this button. Okay, there you go. We have itch. Let's see what games I have. We have um, collections. Games updated three days ago. Look at all these games that are available. It's like looking around for like many minutes. Gundam game, but is it? It's not out yet though. Or I guess the demo's out. It's too many. Okay, check it out. Here's some games that I might play this Saturday. Morning Post. It's a game similar to QT. Remember when I played QT a long time ago? We have this game, we have this game. Handshakes, Celeste 64, Lizzie Crossing. This one apparently is uh, like Picross and Minesweeper combined. We have games to look for cats. We have a game called No More Papers, Please. I don't know what it's about, but it's free. Other games such as Wholesome Cats and more cat games. There's a game called Dog Wash, Gorblets, some cooking games, Toho Fumo Racing, that's a game that's available, Mega Chess, Pico Hot, Beetle, cat games, more cat games. Just a lot of games out here. Just, uh, just many games. Yeah, Toho Fumo Racing. QT. Whoa, what? No, it's this. It's this guy. These dudes. Right. Remember this? This was like a long time ago. Actually, I feel like when I was playing QT, I was like in the aquarium. Part, and then I got raided by Chia. I, I remember specifically. Remember this? Sometimes I just remember like really vague things. Yeah, right? This looks, this guy looks so familiar. This is by the same people that made that game. And then I remember I was talking about like, um, what was it? Garden Eels? And how during the pandemic, they, uh, so like garden eels in, in the aquarium, they loved interacting with humans. And then during the pandemic, since humans stopped showing up, they set up FaceTime so that people could do FaceTime with the garden eels. I remember that. Classic. I don't remember why, I just remember really obscure things like this. The fact that I was playing this game. That I was talking about garden eels. That's just how things are. Sometimes you just remember obscure memories. Anyway, good times back there. Yeah, those were those were fun times. Well, no, the pandemic was not fun times, but you know, eels. Those are cool. Anyway, there's a moose over there. Eating some grass. You seen this this moose right now? It's looking around. Classic. There's a moose. There's a moose right there. Literally right there. Do moose do do meese mooses? Do they only show up in the north? 
Canada. Deer and moose. So many new animals. No, we've seen them before. We haven't seen a new animal in this game in a long time. See, there's another deer right there. Senzawa moose moment. Is that is that a common Senzawa thing? Moosen. You don't get moose. You don't get meese here on the coast. The fine north, cause your coast gets some. Um, yeah, streamer, please give your exact location so that we know. <laughs> All the coast, every coast, the north coast, Newfoundland, Newfoundland. I know it's Newfoundland, but it looks like it's Newfoundland. What an original name! They were like, We found this land. What are we gonna call it? I don't know. Newfoundland. What about old Foundland? What about old missing ocean? The entire opposite of Newfoundland. Welcome, Nano Dan. Just casually toss that sucker back out. That's what we do on these streams. It is called catch and release, after all. You have to catch and release. Is that just Atlantis? Old missing ocean, I guess. Could be. Why does it feel like I'm not reeling in? Doesn't this normally make sounds when I reel in? What happened to the sound? Did the sound in the game stop working? Do you- are you hearing- no, 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 here it is. What? Sometimes- sometimes it doesn't make sounds. <laughs> okay, now it's making so now it's making sounds. But before, it wasn't. For like 10 seconds, I could not hear it. This fish. See, right now. Right now, I can't hear it. Now I hear it. It's weird. Okay, we've caught another fish. And then this is, this is, this is what we're doing, right? That's how you do it. Funny that it was Senzawa who made OK Boomer. She was on indefinite hiatus when she reached peak popularity. I see. I got that video in my recommended one time. It was something. Also, it is 650. We should we should go into uh, to night mode. Where is that this right here? It's nighttime. This guy, you gotta have nighttime. Imagine not having night mode in a game. Impossible. Okay, now it is a bit unsettling to have like this really bright screen out here. So I'm gonna fill it. Black. Yo, what the heck? <laughs> it kind of looks. This kind of looks like a like a see-through window. It looks like the the fireflies can be seen through this thing. It's kind of cool. Wait, this could be this could be like a a cool thing. Like, what if you just had like a floating screen. This is like the, the Apple Vision Pro. If you just had like a screen, you did this, right? And then you can just draw. Just draw on it. You'd have your own constellations in the sky. Check this out. Check this out. Whoa, look at that. We're making it stars. And they're constrained in this window. Amazing. Technology sure is amazing. Spooky. 
It is kind of spooky. Whoops. All right. Anyway, I don't know what else is going on. What else is even occurring out there in this world on this Wednesday? Everyone having a good Wednesday? Can you believe this week is already half over? As soon as going to be April in like two weeks. Not even two weeks. Like one and a half weeks. Ten days. Tw Eleven days from now. And then you'll be like, I can't believe. I remember when it was March. Time it keeps marching on. It is Wednesday. Welcome, x -Tag. Eclipse is coming up soon. I saw some people on the work slack talking about it. They were like, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go see the Eclipse. Should I bring, I'm gonna bring my, my solar binoculars or whatever. Does anyone, does anyone have plans for the eclipse? Are you going to go out there looking at the sun or moon? If you're on spring break, enjoy one week off. I have not thought about spring break in a long time. No, you don't have specific eclipse plans. You just stare at the sun. You could. You could do that. You might since you're a couple of hours, couple hour drive away from totality. A total eclipse. Is it, a, which eclipse is it coming up? Is it a solar eclipse or a lunar eclipse? Solar, right? Solar, isn't that the search Java Libraries, framework, I don't know, this is too obscure of a joke. No one even understands solar. Any solar understanders out there? Anyone familiar? Elasticsearch, Lucene, solar. Eclipse? Eclipse is the IDE that they use for Java sometimes. I mean, it's been replaced by IntelliJ, but look, solar eclipse? Well, what if you're a contributor to Solar and you're writing code in Eclipse? Sorry, this is not even, it's not even funny. But what if it was? What if you understood the joke that I was making? It's not even funny, even if you do. <laughs> That's my favorite kind of humor. Jokes that are not funny, they're like so obscure. And it's like you need you need context to understand them, but even when you do understand them, it's like it's not even that funny. That's what that's the best type of humor. It filters everyone, and the people that do hear the joke are like, I guess I could see what you're getting out of here, but it's not actually that good of a joke. Welcome, Spartan Janitor. Are we talking about eclipses? We sure are. We sure are talking about eclipses. Good times. They should add eclipses to this game. That's what I think. I think it would make sense. It would give us more things to look at. And it is cool to be looking at things. Imagine looking at things. Nothing. You're gonna look at the eclipse? You shouldn't do that. People would probably blind themselves during an event that happens over every couple of decades. Does it happen every couple of decades? When was the last eclipse? Was it really that long ago? I feel like I remember specifically at one of the first companies I worked at. I guess that was like more than 10 years ago, huh? But, um... We had like, you know, an office in New York, obviously. And I think there was like some sort of eclipse and then we all just went outside. We had like a party out there. 
And I'm sure a lot of people actually just looked at the eclipse directly. Or maybe not. 2017, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't every couple of decades. Staring directly at the sun challenge. Some people do that. You could do it. You probably shouldn't do it, but you could. Alright, see ya, Ryan. Has anyone actually gotten seriously gone blind from looking at the sun? Probably. Probably a lot of people. I would imagine during eclipses, there's probably a lot of people that just stare at the sun. Even though they're not supposed to. And then they, they develop long-standing visual issues that they will never recover from. The next one won't be until 2040 as well. What the? You hear that wolf? About long sitting? Um, that's kind of hard to do. If you're long sitting, then you should you should at least stand up if you can, because like the blood flow isn't so good. You gotta be you gotta be standing, otherwise you you will get muscular atrophy in your legs. Sometimes you can get blood clots from sitting too long. Would not recommend. Have I seen CVs debuting in one to two weeks? I have not seen that. How do, how does that work? Has she, hasn't she been streaming for years? How does someone debut? I, I guess I've never debuted. I've never had a debut stream. Maybe I should debut. Why wouldn't you want a trophy? Because sometimes there's too much stuff. There's too many things to consider. It's crazy that we have this thing in the sky every single day and you can never look directly at it. Yeah, it's kind of messed up. It's her new model. Whoa. What the... Sorry, I can't... It's, it's hard for me to click things now. What the... Oh, is it is it a live 2D model? Right, cause she's like a like a 3D model streamer. I see. Interesting. It's interesting how that works. You know, some people that start with a, a 2D model, they're like, check it out. I'm upgrading to a 3D model. And then you have people that start with 3D models, and they're like, oh, check it out. We're gonna have a new 2D model. Welcome, good cat. I remember last time the eclipse happened, the birds went crazy. Sun's probably some kind of government drone transmitter they don't they don't want us looking at. Dang. Those birds. Those birds don't even understand the concept of eclipses. You think they're out there understanding? Also, hold on, let me let me hydrate. It is 7 p.m. You should also hydrate. You out there, make sure you hydrate. I've hydrated. I should probably move the window <laughs> up from or uh, down from there. Uh, here we go. Where is it? There it is. 7 p.m. You know what that means. You know what time it is. It's time to hydrate. CV went from 2D to 3D to 2D. I did not know. I've only ever seen the 3D model. I didn't even know that there was a previous 2D. It's the natural progression. 2D. But 3 is a larger number than 2. 
How could two be larger than three? That doesn't make sense. What kind of what kind of backwards world is this? She had 3D for the longest time. Yeah, I've only, I've only ever seen the 3D. You know, there's people out there. 1D model, probably. There probably have been. 1D. One Direction? The band known as One Direction. Zero D model. Two Ds. Four D model. What about two point five? You have two point five D. Five DS. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yo, Yu-Gi-Oh! reference. Yu-Gi-Oh! Five DS. It's five Ds, right? <laughs> five Ds. Not even 5DS, these. 2.5D model, they're just playing Kirby 64 all the time. I mean, like, you know, like, imagine someone, like, in VR chat. However, it's like those, uh, those HD 2D games where they're always in, like... Like, imagine Ragnarok Online. That's 2.5D. Now, imagine there was a VTuber that interacted with the, the 3D environment but they were like a 2D sprite that'd be cool time to relocate to where? oh to bed okay right <laughs> I thought you meant like permanently like to move to somewhere else I keep forgetting yes you do go to bed at this time Donkey Kong Country maybe never played Donkey Kong Country but it could happen. It could be real. Or it could be fake, we don't know. Anyway, um... What else? Anything else cool happening out there? Got this window. This floating window. Imagine having a floating window. Imagine being in VR and watching a stream while you're in VR. Actually, this is where I used to watch Karagi streams. Back in the day when I would when I would um play VR fishing, not even on stream. I would be sitting here on the boat I would have a stream open, like right here, and then I would just be fishing and watching the stream. Good time. It's been a while, but those are some times. Anyway, what can we do today? We could check the news. That's right. That is a thing that we do on these streams sometimes, because we read the news. We stay informed about things that are happening in the world. Mostly about like dogs and rats though. And VTubers. Sometimes there's news about VTubers. Oh, it's so bright. I keep forgetting they don't have a night mode. Um Hold on, what is this? Two former Mississippi Goon Squad deputies sentenced to prison in torture and abuse of Yes, it's kind of messed up. What the heck? <laughs> what the frick? An Ohio toddler died after her mom left her home alone when she took a vacation. Okay, let's let's look up some not bad news. What about VTuber news? Um, some v this VTuber's graduating. Uh, world's largest VTuber company sets up shop in America. Okay. Hidden Leafs Games and VShoujo will partner on VTuber game. Whole Live VTuber. That's not how you, that's not Suisei's name. What the frick is this? <laughs> Whole Live VTuber. 
Hoshi guy, so he say they couldn't even get the name right. And Zozo Town collaborate. Uh, gin and tonic release. VTubers. RPR going on indefinite hiatus. I didn't hear about this. VTubers. Prism Project ceases operations. The De least depressing news cycle. Just a lot of uh, a lot of things. Nendoroid, a former whole live VTuber, Yozora Mel canceled. VTuber legend. Capcom. Okay, let's let's read all their news. I tried a gin and tonic for the first time the other day. Disgusting. I've never tried it, and I probably will never try it. Because it's alcoholic, and I have no interest in the alcohol. Okay, what else is going on out there? Stocks. World news. Something, I, I keep seeing these things about Nickelodeon on my trending timeline. What's, what's up with that? Quiet on set, the dark side of kids' TV. Five takeaways. It sounds very concerning. Maybe I don't want to know. A lot, a lot of tweets about Drake Bell. Okay, let's let's read about rat news. Any news about rats out there today? How a crisis of fake science led to this AI-generated giant rat? <laughs> what the frick? What the frick? What are they doing to these rats? Florida golf club restaurant shut down after 110 rat droppings found on premises. Rat problem in North Attleboro. Woman tired of rat stealing her food comes up with ingenious plan. Rat news. There's a documentary about how awful 90s Nickelodeon was behind the scenes. <clears throat> oh, that's what. Oh, that's what it is. I mean, I feel like it. You know, everyone kind of already assumes. That the things that go on behind the scenes are awful. But I guess there's some some specific stories. Rats get into marijuana at New Orleans police station? What? Um... Rats. A lot of news about rats. Very few of this news, very little of this news, is good for the rats. NOPD chief says rats are getting high after eating weed in evidence. Scientists weigh in. Rat bites dog in park in Boston's North End. It was chaos, owner says. It's messed up. Things are happening out there in the world. Someone filled in their beloved rat hole. Together, these Chicago residents fixed it. What horrible things go on behind the scenes on my channel? No, this is not kids TV. It's much worse than expected. Oh boy. Maybe I, I feel like I don't want to know. I will just see vague tweets on my timeline. And then go, hmm, that's interesting. I don't want to know. <clears throat> what Warhammer Skaven got wrong about rats? They're all high. Rats eating seas marijuana invade New Orleans police headquarters. I guess this is like big news. There's like 10 articles about these rats eating weed. Look at this. So many. This is big news. The biggest news you will have you will ever see. 
the rats, they are all high. Okay, we've gone up to the rat selfie article. Let's read about dogs. What's going on? Uh, my caps lock is on. Dog. Most popular dog breeds. Most popular dog breed rankings are released. Many fans are not happy. Who? <laughs> popular dog breed rankings? Someone made like a tier list. People are upset. People are fuming. About this dog tier list. The American Kennel Club rankings released on Wednesday. Frenchie is the most popular breed. French Bulldogs. French Bulldogs are the most popular breed of dog. I would have assumed it would be like Golden Retrievers or something. Or Shiba Inu. I don't know. Maybe. Dog. Choco G Dong. Dachshunds are at nearly two decade peak. Wow. Times have changed. There it is. The Golden Retriever. It's like the most dog dog, right? When you think of default dog, you think of Golden Retriever, right? Yeah, Dachshund. They're Dachshund, the dogs. Is Golden Retriever the most dog-like dog? Maybe. Could be. Dogs. Okay, what about cat news though? What's going on in the world of cats? Expensive cat targeted in Connecticut armed robbery. Police. Isn't it always weird when when uh, news articles are phrased like this? It's never like, according to police, an expensive cat was targeted in an armed robbery. It's always like, expensive cat targeted in Connecticut armed robbery, colon, police. What's, what's the deal with the news article titles grammatically? Why would you get anything but Golden Retriever, maybe Corgi? Maybe you could get a Shiba Inu. You could get a... Other dog. <laughs> I don't know. There's options out there. Um... Taiwan teacher draws flack for dropping his own cat in physics to teach. Sorry, for dropping his own cat in class to teach physics. But isn't he just teaching that cats always land on their feet? It's like a common thing, right? Well, I don't know. I didn't see the video, so maybe. <laughs> you know, I feel, yeah, maybe he shouldn't be dropping his cat. Even if they land on their feet. If you're getting a dog for the first time, you want the best one. I don't know. It's subjective. What if you get the worst dog and then move your way up gradually to the best dog? You know how people, they're like, oh, you're like, you're, you're starting to get into this hobby. You should start with this thing first and then move your way up to the more complex things. You think there's people out there that are like, I guess, no, I guess this is true for some kinds of dogs. Some dogs are like much harder to take care of. So like they're like, okay, you want to take care of this dog? Well, you gotta you gotta start out with this dog first, prove that you know how to take care of a dog, and then you know give it enough time, and then you can work your way up to to this dog, and then once you've mastered this dog, then then maybe you can move on to this other dog. Like that is a thing. That probably is really a thing, though. No, I don't know what the hardest to take care of dog is. But I heard Shiba Inu are actually like kind of hard to take care of. Perhaps. The cats out there. 
You own ten dogs. Totally. Welcome, Zoli. Man accused of putting cat into bag, slamming it on ground. What the frick? Bro, what's happening? What's what's happening out here on the cat news? It's never good news. It's always like cat is dying. Cat is at the vet with a thousand dollar medical bill. Cat sad meows after dad goes out or enough to make anyone stay home. Lego Cat Island Adventure 404 <laughs> 4518342747 Amazon shoppers say cats are addicted to this $13 cat brush. This is just an ad. Just a disguised advertisement. We've got kitten news. Cat is a menace to society. Kitten. This tiny kitten is adorable, but kitten season is terrifying. What do they mean by this? Still bad news. Sign. Justice for kitten with skin brutally torn from her face. What the frick? Two-headed kitten goes viral. Rare kitten born with two heads baffles internet. Kitten season is nearly here. What about puppy? Let's look up puppy. Cats could get addicted to literally any cat brush. No, but you don't understand. This brush has a million reviews. Puppy. What's going on in puppy news? No, <laughs> there's always bad news. You seeing this? I don't even want to read that one. Oh my god. You know what? This is like... <laughs> what about the good puppy news? So much bad. Okay, you know, let's, let's play the New York Times connections. Sorry. New York Times connections. Let's connect some things, huh? Create groups of four. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> These are a lot of long words. I feel like usually New York Times Connections words are not this long. Okay, we got the Venetian blinds. That is a type of blind. Um, do they have poker in here? Poker has a kind of blind. Polaroid, that sounds like poker. Fuji film. Okay, maybe this could be like things that are two words. A lot of these things are two words. Jumbotron, Creamsicle, Fuji film, AstroTurf, Rushmore. Why not rush less? Why are they always rushing out there? Journeyman. Okay, Olympus Fujifilm Polaroid. Those are camera related things. Camera kiss cam is a thing. I don't know what Hasselblad is. But I mean, isn't Jumbotron also camera related? AstroTurf. Um Okay, here are things that occur at sporting events. Jumbotron, Kiss Cam, Skybox, Scoreboard. One away. Okay, maybe it's AstroTurf? No, but these are things... These are things that are out there. It's just a big TV, Jumbotron. Yeah, but something has to record it. 
A lot of people were saying this was a tough one. Yeah, it's, it's kind of tricky. AstroTurf. No, but the, these are things you would find at a sporting event. No, I don't know if it is AstroTurf. What is, is Skybox not a thing in a sporting thing? Maybe it's scoreboard? It's not. What the? What the heck? Um. It's not. It's not these. <laughs> what could it be? What the heck is Hasselblad? Venetian blinds. Parmesan. Olympus Fuji film. Polaroid. Scoreboard. Parmesan is a type of cheese. Bologna. Yes, that's like a. I don't know what that is, but it's a food thing. Things that have dairy. Dairy related. Neapolitan ice cream. This is dairy. No, <laughs> it's not it. Okay. It is one away. What is that? What is a Hasselblad? AstroTurf can be fake grassroots movement or type of football field. Oh, uh, bowling. Oh, that's a meat sauce. Okay. What's another thing that has like dairy? Jumbotron, Fujifilm, Scoreboard, Venetian. What's okay? Hasselblad is probably kind of food. Noodles. Hasselblad is a type of noodle. Is it cheating to tell you what Hasselblad is? <clears throat> um, I'm gonna lose anyway. <laughs> so, here, what if I refresh? If you refresh, does it give you more tries? It doesn't, okay. It's not a food, okay. Well then, I don't know. I simply do not- Oh, maybe- wait, Parmesan? Neapolitan? Oh, aren't these- these are Italian things. Things from Italy. Perhaps. Venetian? Italian- oh, okay. Italian- Demonyms. I don't know what that is. Okay, well. Um, scoreboard. I got one thing. Hasselblad is a camera? Okay, well then that is what Olympus Fujifilm. <laughs> and Polaroid. Okay, I had no way to know that. Okay, I guess that's a thing. I did not win this legitimately. I had assistance. Um, okay, of these, what do we have? AstroTurf. Rush more. These are all two word words. Scoreboard. Sky box. Rush more. Is it? It's not this. Jumbotron Skybox. Journeyman. Okay, well, if it's not this, then what are the other ones? Creamsicle. AstroTurf. Journeyman. Rush more. <clears throat> um. Rushmore. It's a mountain. Mount Rushmore. There's a movie called Rushmore. Okay, well if that if it's a reference to the movie, then there's no way that I'll get it. Olympus was the one you didn't know. I knew Olympus. 
did not know Hasselblad. Jumbotron. Okay, we know three of these. Three of these are one of the four. Sorry, <laughs> one of these is not in the group. And we also know that that this one also has three. So it is probably those. Or it could be... I don't know. You know what? I don't know. I don't know. I give up. Seen at a sports stadium? Did I- wait, did I not do that? <laughs> Hold on. Did I- is this not what I had? Oh, Kiss Cam was not at a sports stadium? Starting with the rock bands? Oh. There is a rock band called Cream. I guess Journey. Journey makes a kiss. That is a rock band. Rush. That probably, I guess, is a band. <laughs> Have I ever read the New York Times as in the physical newspaper? Yes. I have. There's no way I would have gotten this. Literally impossible. For me. Okay, let's do the uh, the mini crossword. Play without an account. Always play without an account. Sudden burst of electricity, a jolt. Five all over again. Um, I don't know. Meditation teachers. Gurus, is that a thing? <coughs> Yogas. Part of body that's altered by Snapchat filter often? Face. Show off one's muscles. Flex. Whoa, hey, whoa, you can't have that. Uh, is this, is this correct? <laughs> One down. Crested woodland bird. Powering switch. Judge, judgy. How many times someone is allowed? Something here is definitely wrong. <laughs> On, off. Okay, so it's not gurus. So this is probably on off. Yeah, powering switch. That makes sense. Three down. Judgy. Hold on. What is six across then? Meditation teachers. Um. Who teaches meditation? I don't know. Judgy. Yogis? Oh, I guess. I guess that fits. Now, there's no way I would have gotten that, probably. How many times? Oh, twice! Twice! Yo, just like the, the K-pop group. Judgy. League? Oh, they're like literally judges. J. Okay, that was kind of tricky. Okay, doesn't New York Times games also have like a new one? I saw Northern Lion play this one. Wh which one was it? Letterboxed? Wasn't there one where you like connect words? Oh, and I listen to meditation. Yeah, but they don't call them yogis. The connections for 21st are BS. Tomorrow's? Spoilers. Sorry for backseating. No, that's fine. Strands. Oh, that's what it is. Is it? Is it on here? Why don't I see it? Is it not a New York Times game? <laughs> Strands. Wait. Oh, it's in beta. I see. Find hidden words and uncover today's theme. Nice. There's nice. That is a word. The zero of eight theme words found. Okay, that is a word, but it is not a theme word. 
maybe ace is that a word that is not one of the words too short okay what about torn that's a word torn that is not a word that they're looking for maybe is Adam perhaps a word? It's not a word. <laughs> it's not a word. Okay. What about... What about... Um... Rotator. Rotator. That's a word. Okay. Kale. Taco Baco. That's not there. Velma from Scooby-Doo? It's not a word. No. <laughs> this is actually kind of tricky. Dakes. What about... E? What about... Dharma. What about deer? Sorry, I spelled that wrong. What about deer? Oh, that is a word. That is not. That's that's not a word. That's not the word they're looking for. Tried furry. Furry is not a word. I can't believe. It doesn't even show up here. Lav. No. What about, um. Kevin? <laughs> what about. No. Noon. That's a word. Rotator. Noon. Pan. Panic. Pan. Pan. <laughs> I don't know. What about C? What about a uh, Viking? Vic. Vic. Uh, <laughs> Vicar. It's not a word. I thought that was a word. Ace. It's tricky. Yeah, you end up using each letter exactly once. Raldo. P V E. Player versus environment. Mer. Merm <laughs> Merm Pin Maybe this is why it's in beta. Vicar oh, it's V I C A R. Oh that is a word. No, this it's okay. It is a word, but it's not one of the words they're looking for. I guess I'll use a hint. Oh wait, today's theme back and forth. Chrome, Chrom, from Fire Emblem. No, I'm just gonna use a hint. These words, C I Vice. <laughs> what the frick? C I What could this be? I Vac Vaccine That doesn't work. <laughs> that doesn't work. 
I'm just saying words. Um. Anne. Orlando. Even with the hint. I don't know what to do with this hint. C. I R C. I C C V I. Roman numerals. I V C I C. <laughs> Not a word. Does anyone know? Once I get it, it'll all fall into place. I mean, back and forth. Back and forth. Oh, it's, um, these words are palindromes. Yes, there are palind- Noon is a palindrome. Rotator is a palindrome. Now, what could this be? Civic. Oh, civic. Oh, I see. I understand. Okay, so we're looking for palindromes. Um. But then what? <laughs> but then what? K A L. Kayak. That's that's a palindrome. Oh. And then what? And then. Then you got L V R. It's another R there. It's an R there. R O R E E. Still, even though I know the thing, it's still kind of... Wish I could backseat, I can't really see anything. I think that's an issue with the fact that, like... Due to this new setup that I have... It's kind of harder, it's harder to see it here. It's not as, like, zoomed in. Here, what if I do this? Oh, it literally, this is literally the closest it can get. Oh no, I could do this. Okay, here you go, <laughs> here you go. Back and forth. Is this more visible? There's a particular word I can look for right now. There's one word that will cross the board. That word will be the theme. Is this a word? <laughs> I dot you. The one that will cross the board? Back and forth. What do you mean by cross the board? Theme words fill the board entirely. No theme words overlap. Find the spangram. The spangram des describes the puzzle's theme and touches two opposite sides. Oh, that's what you mean. Oh, maybe I should have read the rules. Palindrome word at Panama? Is that a word? Okay, there's got to be one that goes across. It's got to go left to right. So it's got to be this A to this A, right? Maybe. <laughs> it's got to be this A. A... It's got to be an M, and then from that M, it's got to be <laughs> what the frick? It's got to be A M. There's no R. Could be an E. It can't be an. It could be an E. A M. Ame, um, 
A M E R R No Or palindrome? No, it's not a palindrome. It has to describe the theme. Back and forth describe the theme. Back and forth. And it's gotta be a palindrome. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> e A M from the M. It's nothing. What about... I guess it doesn't have to end on the A. It just needs to connect with the A. Right? I've already said the word. Panama? Okay, tell me what the word is. Panama? <laughs> oh, I see it. Pan... That's not even a palindrome. Never mind. That's, Panama is not even a palindrome. What am I saying? Uh, <laughs> a race car. I mean, that is that is one of them. Okay. And then what? Palindrome. Pa pal. Oh, palind. Wait, is it palindrome? But the palindrome itself is not a palindrome. Palin... No, it's... hold on. Okay. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, I see. It's just the theme. I see. <laughs> I get it. Okay. Um. And then you got uh. You got. You got the uh. You got a. You got L. Level. There's no V. No, there's a V. L E V E L. Okay, okay, madam. I see. Oh, shoot. This is kind of hard. Spamgram does not have to be an example. I understand. It's kind of fun, though. Even though it is tricky, I do enjoy it. Anyway, it's time to end the stream. Let's see what day today is. Let's raid someone. International Day of Happiness. Proposal Day, yo, Ravioli Day, everyone. Alien Abduction Day, Astrology Day. Dogs in Yellow Day. Great American Meat Out Day. French Language Day. Great British Spring Clean Day. Kiss Your Fiancé Day. Macaron Day. Vanessa Day. Won't You Be My Neighbor Day. Snowman Burning Day. <laughs> okay, that's something. World Flower Day. Math Day. Oh, World Frog Day. Everyone, it is World Frog Day. Also, welcome ever-present vehemence. Vehemence. One of the puzzles was seven deadly sins. Spangram was cardinal sins. Oh, I see. Frog day. Sparrow day. Okay, it is world frog day. And who do yo? What the frick? Ellis is never streaming at this time, but she's probably ending her stream. No, she's ending her stream. Never mind. <laughs> uh, is Lily Hop streaming? My, uh, my raid bookmark lid is broken. Hold on, let me check. Let me check my bookmark lid. So that it shows me. 
It will show me when I last raided someone. Okay, we copy this. She's the only frog. He only knows one frog. Okay, we're gonna edit this book booklet because Twitch they change their uh, their CSS again. We'll save this. We go on Twitch. We see who's streaming. Choco Jax is streaming. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Who do I want to raid? Um, there's many people streaming. I could raid one of these people, perhaps. And why aren't there more? I saw, I got recommended like another frog themed VTuber, I think this past week. I forgot her name already, but there was, there was another one I didn't follow, but I did get it recommended. Okay, who do I want to raid? What about... What about this? What about this person? What are, what are they doing? i raid this person. Supermarket Sim. I'm, I'm gonna play Supermarket Sim at some point. I don't know when. But I think it is a fun looking game. Who's that person on the far right? Ilya? Or was was it a different person? On the far right? This one? Ilya? There's people out here. Okay, let's let's raid let's raid Huni Cat. Raid. Oh, this channel is follower or subscriber only chat. Okay, never mind. Cancel them. <laughs> I'm not gonna raid a follower or subscriber only chat. That's messed up. Okay, who else? <laughs> who else? Here, what about what about this person? Is this a collab? This is an ad. I don't want to raid into an ad. <laughs> Sponsored ad stream? No. Not doing that. Um... This is like the hardest part of streaming. It's finding out who to raid... Literally... Don't know. What about... What about... What about... Uh, what about this person? Mercury wins. I do not know who that is. We could raid Sunshine Noka. This channel is intended for mature audiences. You can choose to leave if you're not mature. What's the day? Oh yeah, raid. It's freaking um, World Frog Day raid. World Frog Day raid. Today is the day of frogs. You are immature. You will have to leave. You are not allowed to be here. Okay. You must leave. Or you could stay, it's fine, you could choose to stay. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow with some Dark Souls randomizer. Hopefully we'll make some progress, you know, we've spent many streams just looking for things and not having much success. But maybe this time is different. And then we got Pick Cross on Friday. And then Saturday we got various games. That's it. Good times out there. Anyway, the raid's going. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.